Good morning. It's time for our Wednesday Foundations lesson. And we're going to start today's lesson by drilling all of the different ways that we've learned to spell long vowel sounds. Can you think on your own first of any ways that we've learned to spell long vowel sounds? I'm going to give you a second. If you thought of vowel consonant silent E, that's awesome. That's one of the ways we've learned to spell long vowel sounds. So let's practice those. A, safe, A. E, peat, E. I, pine, I. O, home, O. U, rule, U and you, mule, you. Can you think of another way that we've learned to spell long vowel sounds? Well, you might not have thought of this one, but we've learned vowel teams that make long vowel sounds. So let's practice those now. O, A, boat, O. O, E, toe, O. A, I, bait, a, E, Y, key, E, A, Y, play, A, and these last two, they don't actually make long O sounds, they make long U sounds. O, O, school, O, and O, U, soup, O. They have O in them, but they make the long U sound. And let's see if you can think of one last way that we've learned, and we learned this one just this week, that we've learned to spell long vowel sounds. If you said open syllables, you were right. So in an open syllable, there's just one vowel there, but it doesn't have a consonant after it if the syllable is open, and so the vowel says its name. Let's practice saying those. A, acorn, A. E, me, E. I, hi, I, O, no, O, U, pupil, U, U, flu, U, and Y, cry, I. And remember, when Y is at the end of a one syllable word, it sounds like I. And in that case, the Y is being used as a vowel, not as a consonant, the way we've usually learned it. The next thing we're going to do is practice some of our sight words. Some of these are from this week, and some are from past week. So I'm going to hold the cards up, and let's see first if you can read the words. Do you know what that word is? Good. That's the word eight. Let's say it, air spell it, and say it. Eight. E I G. H T eight. What's that word? Good. Large. L A R G E. Large. What's that one? Good. That's the word change. C H A N G E. Change. Now, these are some words that we've had in past weeks. Let's see if you remember them. Good. That's the word about. About. A, B, O, U, T. About. What's that word? Good. That's read. R, E, A, D. Read. Good. That's the word talk. Talk. T A L K. Talk. Good. In the next part of the lesson, I've put some words on the chart. They're not real words, they're make believe words. But sometimes when we try to read make believe words, it really helps us learn our uh, letter sound patterns. So let's take a look at what we have over here. Let's get a little closer to the chart. And I want you to see the first word is. P-R-U. And I want you to tell me how you think 
P-R-U would be pronounced. What kind of a word is that? How would you say it? If you said prue, that would be right. It's an open syllable, right? There's no consonant after the U. So that U is going to say its name. So if you said P-R-U would be prue, you got it. Let's take a look at the next one. F-R-E-P. How would you say F-R-E-P? If you said frep, good job. It's a closed syllable, so the E is short. There's a P after the E, so the E is short. So that word would be frep. Good. Let's try the next one. C-L-I-M. How would you say that word? C-L-I-M. Good. That would be clin. That's another closed syllable. The I is short because it has an N after it. Clin. How about B-L-U-P? Good. That's blup. Also a closed syllable. Sounds funny, right? Uh, the U is followed by a P, so the U is short. How about S-H-E-D-E? -E? How would you say that word? Good. That's sheed. There's a silent E after the D, so it makes the E that comes before it say its name. So it's a long E, but the E at the end is silent. Sheed. How about C-H-E-L-L? -L? What would that be? Good. Chell. A little bit close to shell, right? It's a closed syllable because there's one vowel followed by, in this case, a consonant and a bonus letter. L-L. -L. Good. How about S? T O D E. How would you say that nonsense word? Good. Stowed. There's a silent E at the end, so it's going to make that O say its name. Nice. How about C H I D? How would you pronounce that? Chid. There's a consonant after the vowel, so the, the vowel is short. Chid. And one last one, S-P-O. How would you say that? Spo, that's an open syllable. There's no consonant after the vowel, so that O is going to say its name. And one thing I'm going to ask you to do, I'm going to put these, attach these words in an activity. I want you to read these words, and then I'm going to ask you to do one other thing. I want you to change each word a little bit so that it becomes a different kind of word. Let me tell you what I mean. Let's take P-R-U. What would happen if I added a G after the U? What would happen? If it's prue now, what would it become if I added a G to it? Good, it would become prug, because that U would become a short vowel sound if we put a consonant after it. So you're going to take each one of these and change them to a different kind of word by changing one letter. So you're going to read the words, then you're going to change the words in some way. And you should read the new words you make as well. For the last part of today's Foundations lesson, we're going to have story time. Today's story time really isn't a story. Um, it's a passage about something that's important uh, for writers. And since we're writing a lot these days, uh, this is very important. So the passage is right up here. You can read it along with me as I read it. But I'm also going to attach it. You're going to read it to yourself. And you're going to answer two questions. Uh, the two questions you're going to answer are, what is the topic of this story time passage? And what's one thing you learned from it? Okay, so first you're going to tell what the big idea is, and then you're going to say one thing you learned from it. Let's read it together. The title of today's passage is, Adjectives Are Helpful. Now, we've talked about adjectives very briefly before. Adjectives are words that describe something. So if you take, oh, let's say, a child. A child can be described in many different ways. A child can be described as smart. Uh, amber is messy. Those words, smart and messy, those are adjectives. Uh, you can describe a ball. A ball can be round or blue. Okay, those are adjectives too. Any word that describes something is an adjective. adjective. So let's read this passage together, and then you're going to read it on your own, and you're going to say what the topic is and what you learned. By second grade, you can read and spell lots of words. We use words all the time to talk and to write. And I want you to notice that read and talk were some of our trick words. There are all kinds of words. 
Some words are people, places, or things, like baby, Boston, and bench. That word Boston was in our story time last week. It was the city that Babe Ruth played in. Some words are for things we do, like swim, jump, and cry. We are lucky to have lots of words we can use when we write. Some words are useful when we are trying to describe someone or something. These words are called adjectives. Adjectives are words like funny, silly, ugly, messy, and chunky. Chunky. These words tell us more about the people, places, and things we talk and write about. Now, these words are going to come in very handy in your stories when you're describing your characters. With adjectives, we can let others know if our lunch was yummy or yucky. Those are both adjectives. We can tell our friends if our new puppy is skinny or chubby, or if our kitty is black or white. Adjectives come in handy when we want to describe things. So you can listen to this tape as many times as you want, and then I want you to read the passage on your own. And remember, in the form below, I want you to write, what is this story mostly about? And what's one thing you learned from it? All right. See you later for our reading lesson.